Hey Joe. Look Joe. Catholic, by the way. All for free. The host is not asking for any money. This is for washing. There's no shower. Um, I've just moved here. The fridge for free. The food. Just for free, they gave it to me. Gem. What is this? And cucumbers. Canned meat. Raspberry. You know. Mm, cream, right? Screaming cream. Oh no. Steamed. No. What do you call it? Sour cream, right? Some fat stuff I can't eat because I've got ulcer. The apples I've got to cook them can't eat fresh food. Everything should be steamed and boiled. Even the cabbage cannot be eaten. The present from the host, as well as everything else. The fish. The temperature is 21. I'm afraid more would cause some algae. The door looks really shabby. But uh, when I give the lessons, I just tell them that, well, that's where I'm hiding from the orcs. This place is some sort of a mantelpiece, but you put your fuel there, you should open those doors and put your wood or coal and uh, you can cook on this surface another present from my host it's it's uh, it's carbonated water which i can't drink the carbon is <laughs> flying out well okay not a king size bed and I, uh, I'm like a shrimp here. I have to sleep like in this position. And well, the, the best thing is the carpets. Look at the shoes. I'm walking in my shoes here. It's damn cold. I was lucky he gave me a washing machine just for nothing for free. I can't even, I couldn't believe it was a German model. I guess from 1970-something. Uh. Look. Weiser Schweizer. Something. The water. From the well. Um, this is for drinking when I'm giving lessons. Oh, Garbage, dust, bean, yeah. <laughs> no, that's all I, I moved from Dnipro, from the center of Ukraine, when I was there with my parents. They stayed there trying to find uh, a couple jobs. Um, this is a useful piece of scrubby device. What do you call this? Uh, scrubbing net. Then, okay, another device which could be useful a bit later for cooking if I don't have any gas. It's an electric stove. This is an electric one, yeah. The water. Sometimes some food droppings get inside when you collect water. Damn, you have to boil it. And uh, um, it's also for washing. That's for the leftovers of water, like, really, dirty water. Thank you, Putin. Now, all the food which I came with from the center, from Dnipro, in the center of Ukraine, I bought it there, 
and I transported it here. So far so good. I mean, this looks good, but it's running out. And that thing is going to run out. Uh, the good thing is that there are potatoes the host gave me. I still don't have any headphones which I can use for giving lessons. And it sucks because... Well, and there, there is a gas stove and a gas cylinder, but you can't see them because there is no lamp here. Oh, fantastic look. He told me that that was some fashionable design they used in the past. They just do, 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 hit it and you get these cavities. And it's just, it's been... Um, white painted, eh? Huh? What do you call that? The old school style, without any glue, you know, it just gets rubbed onto your fingers. At least there is some beauty here. Strawberries, white. No, everything's so damn dirty, you know. But it's, it's great, better than at home, when you can hear those flying above your head. All the lamps are good. I also brought a couple of mine. Um, the little energy saving ones. And there is an electric car, electricity counter. The door. Well, it, there is no lock there because the village people don't walk around and they don't come into each other's houses at night. This place has only 300 300 buildings and that's all 1000 people everyone knows each other in the morning they say uh, something like have a good morning and in the afternoon you have to say uh, have a good day and some of them just say god bless you no jesus christ resurrected indeed resurrected he did mm. so they are very catholic well, the place, right? This place is comf This part is comfortable. Um, they brought some some clothes from home, from that place in Dnipro, not from home, by the way. And yeah, look, um, a lot of them, like most of them, are humanitarian aid, which people collected for the refugees. Just the, the used clothes you have no choice but to wear uh, because they are cute thanks thank you the people who helped my computer was transported here the system tower i love it it's the only thing i got collected from home and i fetched it when i was running away we had only one hour and a half to run away I collected what I could, my computer, the screen, the keyboard, the mouse, a couple clothes, a couple bottles of water, and my fish. What's great is the fish survived after my city was sieged and there was no water for a couple months, but I had to collect, I, I, I managed to collect some water by Mel um, melting snow in this from the street you had to spend half a day to get about 10 liters of water and each water change took me 10 liters and most of the fish died like there were 60 beautiful ones they didn't even speak anything in return when you shouted at them they were so nice and polite and only six of them survived thank you putin and this part of this country is rather nationalistic. They are nationalists. I mean, they are hardcore nationalists, and I love it. Because they're not going to welcome any damn Putin. <sighs> they are hard believers, hardcore believers. And I always have a lot of food. Food, food, food. Food is good. So, Joe, and uh, I wanted to tell you that it's nice that you are reading my messages and haven't deleted me 
on Skype. It's good that you have contacted me. So I wish you a good good morning. <laughs> have a good day. And glory to Ukraine.